What is up, YouTube gamers? Bonfire here bringing you a game site first impressions of The Last of Us. Now this is the PS3 exclusive that just came out yesterday and is one of the most highly anticipated games of this year. Now the gameplay you guys are watching is just a nice clip very early on in the game so don't worry it's not going to give you guys any spoilers on the story or anything like that. And I've only played about three to four hours of the game, and I wanted to bring you guys some of my first initial thoughts and impressions. Now, starting with the introduction and the intro introducing moments of the game, it's one of the best intros that I've ever played in a video game, hands down. It does everything that a good video game intro does and should, which is hook you in, get you excited about the game, and leave you wanting more. I can't tell you enough how awesome it was. Now the story, again, not giving you guys any details or spoilers about the story, but the story so far has had just great pacing. It, it feeds you little pieces of information and it always leaves you wanting more and kind of asking those additional questions to keep you engaged in the game. Now before we got some details about the infected within the game, the game has been very is compared to and viewed as a zombie game. And though there's a lot of similarities between a typical zombie game and this game, you can definitely tell that this game is not a zombie game. I would say it's more of a survival game. And one of the things that stands out about it is that they really take their time in developing the characters and there's a huge focus on the characters rather than taking out the zombies or in this case the infected. And I think that's what sets this game apart. Now, a little bit about the gameplay. The gameplay and feel overall is outstanding. It's a nice mix of stealth, platforming, and combat. Now, when you encounter a situation and it kind of opens up a little bit, you can choose to be stealthy and, in most cases, avoid combat. You can stealthily take down your enemies or just go in, go loud, and proud. However, it seems that stealthy approaches are your best bet from what I've played. The nice thing about the stealth and what they've incorporated in the game is that sound plays a big part and you can throw different objects to create distractions and your enemies can even hear you move if you move too quickly or are trying to run around somebody. Now there is shooting and guns in the game, but ammo is pretty scarce so it's better to use your melee combat and stealth to take your enemies out. That way you can save your ammo for more difficult enemies. Now, as far as the shooting mechanics go, it's not as clean as other third-person shooter titles, but that's okay because it works well within this game and is very similar to the Uncharted series. Now, the melee combat, which is probably what you'll most primarily use, flows nicely and is very fun to execute. You can use different objects for melee, and each object that you use has a limited amount of uses, which adds to the survival element to the game. Overall though, the combat is excellent and can be very gruesome. So the game is a pretty gruesome game and some of the deaths that you'll create are just horrific but awesome at the same time. Now, it is fun to kill your enemies in different ways and I've found myself breaking stealth just to take down an enemy for fun and see how it plays out. So that just kind of shows you how fun this combat is. Now one of the gameplay features that I've found most unique is that when you access your backpack or your inventory to change weapons, heal or craft something, it's all done in real time. And I feel like this adds a whole new element of gameplay because you have to choose carefully when you equip, heal, or and you have to be ready at all times for any situation. So it's definitely a positive that I like taking away. Now a little bit about the graphics. The graphics for this game just look fantastic. And one of the standouts is the beautiful environments that they've created because they're so full of rich details, even down to the drops of rain when it's raining outside. Another standout is the voice acting and facial capture from the people who did the acting and are in the game. You can just see the emotion on the faces, which I feel like it just adds to the drama, it draws you into the game, and really takes it to another level. And the acting is just superb. It's, it's very well done. One of the best actors or acting sequences if you will that i've seen in a video game it's just executed really well and i feel like when you have that great voice acting the great you know capture recognition 
it just takes the game's story and the overall experience to the next level. Overall, this game is fantastic. And you can see remnants of the Uncharted series within the gameplay, but this is a whole new experience that's in a league of its own. It draws you in, keeps you wanting more, and creates an emotional depth that you'll feel for the characters. So those are some of my initial thoughts and impressions from what I've played this far. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys are thinking about picking up this title. And if you enjoyed the video, like the gameplay, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more reviews, gameplays, and the review of this game as soon as I can get done with it. Until next time, guys, I'm Bonfire. And I'll see you online. Hey guys, don't forget Facebook and Twitter. Hit that button down below.